Resiliency Expo, a Disaster Resiliency Expo, and it'll be held in North Portland. Uh, and it is uh, for the entire community, not just North Portland residents. So what that will do is bring everyone in the same room who has resources and information and things to share and teach. And so for the general public, it's a, it's a great event. They can come out and learn what they can do to keep their family and their house safe and secure in the event of a major disaster. They can also get to know other people and learn great skills and uh, hopefully make new friends. We're having workshops that will address some of the concerns. We're having a, a workshop that talks about for trauma first aid. We're also going to invite some of our schools to talk about their emergency planning for families and their students. Where, where do kids go? What are the school plans? We're having discussions, sessions after a lot of these workshops where people can ask questions so we can make sure that we get out information to these communities on some of their concerns and some of their worries. I think that people coming to the event will find out that they're already doing things that are emergency preparedness, but they think that they are more environmental practices. So we're hoping to join people to a new way of, into a new way of thought. All you have to do is see the videos of Japan and the massive destruction that happened in Japan to realize that 1% that, uh, of your population that's made up of police and fire, professional rescuers, is not going to be enough to recover from a disaster of that magnitude. Here in Portland, we often think we're immune to a major disaster. We're not in a tornado alley or in a hurricane zone, so we haven't experienced regular disasters. But as geologists are saying that we are due for a major earthquake which could wreak havoc in the area. So uh, while we don't want this to happen, um, there's value in being prepared for this. Well, we like to talk about all hazards. I mean, it could be as something as simple as a disruption in our utilities. Um, how do we prepare for things like this? So we like to cover all hazards because we never know in planning what may happen. So we like to give people a all hazards approach to any type of emergency disaster. That's, that's what being resilient is all about. You have to be uh, prepared and, and remain calm throughout these, these events. And um, doing so will help yourself, your neighbors, your families, and, uh, and also take pressure off, I believe, off of some of the agencies that are trying to help us along the way as well. Sustainability plus risk reduction equals resilience. And we want our city to be resilient. For more information, go to resiliencepdx.org.